Now, I ain't never been with her baddie. Mm, she calm, so I add her to the tally. Oh shit, okay, here we go. Nah, no. I ain't never been with a baddie, with a baddie. She calm, so I add it to the tally. Madison but I'm calling her Maddie. Yes. Like, Matt's try to send me that. There's something known as the male gaze and then the female gaze. And most guys base their entire image based off the male gaze. Now, the male gaze is essentially a filter. You know, it's what most guys think looks good. Most guys really have no clue what women truly want. Women fantasize. Women have a different view a different perspective of what they actually think is attractive. So today guys, I'm gonna go over some basic misunderstandings when it comes to your personal image so that you can look better through the female gaze rather than the male gaze. Because most of you guys, you try to look your best and you're looking at it through a male gaze. So it's almost like you're trying to look good just for other men. Women do the same stuff as well, but guys, if you wanna become as attractive as you possibly can to the opposite sex, you can't do that. You gotta upgrade your image through their perspective rather than yours. So let's go. Let's start this video off with the number one thing that most of you guys get wrong, and it's your physiques. So for example, my physique, whenever I take all my measurements, I have the Adonis called ratio. So my shoulders are 1.61 times wider than my waist, so on and so forth. And now, this, in addition to being a male model, would be somewhat amongst the female gaze. But a lot of you guys, you think the bigger, the better, and this simply is not the case. For example, most of you guys seek to attain a physique just like Chris Bumstead, something like this. Meanwhile, you hate on people like me with my physiques saying that it's skinny. Deep down, I think that this comes from a deep insecurity that you feel like you're never going to be good enough. You feel like you always need more size. And in my opinion, it's quite stupid. They've actually done scientific research on this as well. Women prefer the Brad Pitt and Fight Club physique as opposed to the bigger physique. They're always going to prefer that prime Zac Efron where he looked like an Abercrombie and Fitch model. Thank you so much to my fans. Male models, this look is always going to be the most aesthetic. So stop trying to chase complete size, man, and try to become as aesthetic as possible. Aesthetics win every single day of the week. Up next is going to be facial hair. Most of you guys, through the male gaze, think that a big, gnarly beard looks masculine. It looks badass. Now, this one might trigger a few of you guys, but women do not typically prefer this. Typically, They've done research on this as well. They prefer either a little stubble at the most, just like Chris Hemsworth, or they just prefer clean shaven, just like their favorite celebrities. You know, like you guys have to look at what these girls are fantasizing about. Like they're fantasizing about like the Shawn Mendes, Justin Bieber, like Timothy Samlet. Like they're fantasizing about these guys who have like the baby face. They look cute. They don't have like big gnarly beards. They look like pretty boys. And so if you can take steps to acquire some of these attributes, it'll make you look much, much more attractive. Now the haircut is a big one as well. I feel like through the male gaze, most of you guys, you go for sharp, masculine haircuts. So for example, a buzz cut, a Caesar cut, or like a taper. All of you guys have tapers, it seems like these days, but then you look through the female gaze. They're obsessed with these TikTok haircuts, man. They're obsessed with the curtains hairstyles. They're obsessed with these hairstyles. You'll notice every single hairstyle a woman obsess about, it has length on the sides. There's never a buzz. Like there's never gonna be a taper on the sides, on the back. This is through the female case. So women are naturally attracted to more of that preppy, like it's almost like a rich aesthetic, like that Batman hairstyle. But they're not typically gonna be as attracted to like the really sharp, aggressive hairstyles. Scent will also play a big role as well. I mean, most guys, they go for much more masculine scents, such as Creed Invictus, like some of the most popular ones, you know? But then whenever you actually pull a woman, you actually do some scent tests, they prefer almost like the Versace Aero smell, the God of Love, stuff like this, where it has a little bit more feminine smell to it. And the thing is, men, with all of this stuff, I've discussed this in the past, Women are narcissists most of the time. And the thing is, whenever you can reflect some beauty back to them, it allows them to see themselves in you. This is why women prefer pretty boys 
nine times out of 10, they love pretty boys, man. So if you're able to look a little bit prettier and attain some of these attributes, they will be naturally drawn to you because it's like they're naturally drawn to themselves. So if you're able to mirror some of these beautiful qualities back to them, then they will think it's much more attractive. So another thing we can discuss is jewelry and accessories. So most of you guys, the most you'll ever wear is a watch because you try to be as masculine as possible. And the thing is, man, women do not see it this way as well. Women love rings on men. They love necklaces. They love earrings. Like they love all of this stuff. You guys need to start taking some more risk. Don't be so afraid to wear some jewelry, man, because from their female gaze, they love that stuff. So essentially the male gaze is trying to look as hyper masculine and respectable as possible strictly for other men. You're not doing this for women, women do not like this. And then the female gays, they prefer that fantasy boy, the mysterious boy, the, the K-pop star, something more like this. And I know that you guys think it's too feminine, it looks a certain way, but this is what they're into. So you can debate it all you want, but this is simply fact. So I always have this personal belief where you take the pretty boy persona, this external appearance, but then you combine that with the hyper-masculine, aggressive, personality traits and so you can combine them to create the ultimate man now fun fact in ancient greece there is a word known as andrea and now andrea means manly spirit it was the greek philosophy two things one you need to always be ready for war so you need the hyper masculine aggressive edge to you but then on top of this they were obsessed with their beauty man the men the manly spirit it is masculinity to be obsessed with your beauty, to be as attractive as possible. I don't know what happens to men to where we feel like taking care of ourselves, looking as attractive as possible is something that's seen as feminine. The thing is, man, the Greeks, they did this shit and we're obsessed with them. So make your face look as beautiful as possible. Your hair look as beautiful as possible. Like you guys are just chopping yourselves up so sloppily. Like make yourself look as good as possible. Rock some accessories, chisel the body of a Greek God, look like a male model, look like a Greek God, look your best and women will naturally be drawn to this through their female gaze. If you're watching this and you need help with the fitness goals, link in the description box for your free one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, Austin Wayne, founder of Kalo Seek Fitness. Also, if you need some supplements, KaloSeek.com or link in the bio for the best supplements in the fitness industry. We've got pre-workout, creatine, whey protein, high growth supplements, everything, man. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and like this video to push it out into that YouTube algorithm. That's it, I'm gone.